Let us open our Bible to the book of Proverbs 14. Proverbs, Proverbs 14. Rewards for fearing Yahweh. Rewards for fearing Yahweh. Psalm 14 verses 1 to 4. Peril of not fearing God. Griefs of fearing God. Verse 1. If a woman is wise, that means if she fears Yahweh, her home grows and gets better and better. But a woman who is foolish, meaning she does not fear Yahweh, will bring pain and destruction upon her home. A woman who has no fear of Yahweh, who is willful and wasteful, and indulges her ease will as certainly ruin her family as if uh, she plucked her house down. Verse 2 There are two paths in life the path of those who fear Yahweh and the path of, those, uh, of the foolish who despise the Lord. Here are grace and sin in their true colors. Those who despise Yahweh's precepts and promises despise Yahweh and all his power and mercy. Verse 3 Pride grows from that root of bitterness which is in the heart. The root must be plucked up Otherwise, we cannot conquer this branch of the vine, which would be cut off and thrown into the fire. The prudent words of wise people get them out of difficulties. Verse 4. There can be, there can be no advantage without something which Thor of little moment will frighten the indolent. Proverbs 14 verses 5 to 9. A heart condition reflected in the woods. The way that a person speaks reflects the condition of his or her heart. It is wise to avoid liars and scorners because their language reveals their foolishness of a heart that does not fear Yahweh. Verse 5 a, consen a, conscientious, a conscientious witness will not dare to represent anything otherwise than according to his or her knowledge. Verse 6 a scorner that treats uh, divine things with contempt. The person, uh, a scorner is the one that treats uh, divine things with contempt. The person who feels his or her ignorance uh, and uh, unworthiness will search the scriptures in a humble spirit. Verse 7. We discover a wicked person if there is no savor or piety or fear of Yahweh in his or her discourse. That's how we discover them. And this should not be difficult when you know the scriptures, when you know the word of God. That, that is, and when you know the word of God, that is how you build up your, your spirit of discernment. Those who fear Yahweh understand what they are doing and why they are doing it. In contrast, foolish people seek to hide the true intentions of their hearts. We are travelers whose concern is not to look to, for wonders but to get to our journey's end which is to understand the rule we are to walk by, also the ends we are to walk toward. The bad person cheats himself or herself 
and pursues in his or her mistake. Verse 9. Foolish and profane people consider sin a mere trifle to be considered as not that important rather than to be mourned over. Fools mock at the sin offerings, but those who consider sin as not important make Christ not important. Proverbs 14 verses 10 to 22 Seeking wealth, accumulation, or Yahweh's acceptance. Verse 10. Everyone knows the real estate, the real state of his or her heart. So when the wicked deny their need for forgiveness, they lie to themselves and to Yahweh. We do not know what uh, stings of conscience or consuming passions torment the prosperous sinner. Nor does the world know the peace of mind a serious Christ follower enjoys even in poverty and sickness. Verse 11 Even though wicked people may amass things of this earth Destruction will come, even though righteous people might not gain as much. In the end, they will know the security of being right in, uh, in being right with Yahweh. Sin ruins many great, many great families, while righteousness often raises and strengthens. Uh, even mean families. The way, verse 12, the way of carelessness, of worldliness, and of sensuality seems right to those who walk in them. But the self deceivers prove self destroyers. See the vanity of carnal mirth. Verse 14. Of all sinners, backsliders will have the most terror than they reflect on their own ways. Backsliders are those are repeat sinners. Verse 15. Eager readiness to believe what others say have ever proved mischievous. The whole world was thus ruined at first. The man who is spiritually wise depends on the Savior, the Savior alone for acceptance. He is watchful against the enemies of his salvation by taking heed on God's word. Verse 16 Holy fear God's against everything unholy. Verse 17 An angry man is to be pitied as well as blamed, but the revengeful is more hateful. Verse 18 and sin, sin, sin is the shame of sinners, but wisdom is the honor of the wise. Verse 19. Even bad people acknowledge the excellence of Yahweh's people. Verses 20 to 22. No one wants to be poor, and the poor do not garner the respect of the world that the rich do, but those who show kindness toward others regardless of their social and economic standing are blessed by Yahweh. Verse 20. Friendship in the world is governed by self-interest. It is good to have Yahweh as our friend, he will not 
desert us. Verse 21. To despise a person for his or her employment or appearance is a sin. Verse 22. Those who do not only do good but devise it consult their own interests wisely. Proverbs 14 verses 23 to 27 Work in the fear of Yahweh Verses 24 to 23 to 24 While it is true that many people are poor despite their best efforts this is, there is, this is no excuse for not working the principle remains that the fruit of real work is reward. But people who hate work and only talk of good game get nothing. Verse 22. Work of the head or of the hands will turn to some good account. But if people's religion runs all out in talk and noise, they will come to nothing. Verse 24 The, the riches of people of wisdom and the people uh, and the riches of, of people of wisdom and pity enlarge their usefulness. Verse 25 an upright person will venture the fields of testifying the truth. Verses 26 to 27. The person, the, those who fear, those who fear Yahweh, so as to obey and serve Him, have a strong ground of confidence and will be preserved. Let us seek to this fountain of life and we may escape the snares of death. Proverbs 14 verses 28 to 35 Wise leaders and people of integrity make a healthy country. Verses 28 to 35 The health and well-being of a nation depend on both the ruler and the governed. A ruler must be fair and above all must respect the rights of his people. The people on the other hand must have virtues in their lives or they will bring society into chaos. No government can succeed without the people. And no people can thrive if corruption and evil abound. Verse 28 Let all that wish well to the kingdom of Christ do what they can, that many may, may, may be added to his church. Verse 29 A mild, patient man is one that learns of Christ who is wisdom itself. Unbridled passion is folly made known. Verse 30 An upright and upright contented and benevolent mind tends to health. Verse 31 To oppress the poor is to reproach our Creator Yahweh. Verse 32 Wicked people have their soul forced from them. They die in their sins under the guilt and power of sin. But godly people, though they have pain and sore dread of death, have the blessed hope which Yahweh, who cannot lie, has given them. Verse 33, wisdom possesses the heart and thus regulates the affections and tempers. Verses 34 to 35, 
Wisdom is not just for personal gain. There is a national aspect to it as well. A nation's political health depends to a great degree on the moral integrity of its people. For this reason, political leaders are better served by people of integrity. Verse 34. Pity and holiness always promote industry, sobriety and honesty. Verse 35. The great king who reigns over heaven and earth will reward faithful servants who honor his gospel by the proper discharge of the duties of their stations. He does not despise the, service of the services of the lowest. Know this, and the Lord Yahweh will bless you. Amen. Let us take this prayer point. Let us, uh, uh, let us uh, 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 recite uh, Proverbs, to, uh, Proverbs 14. Uh, reset us prayers. The wise woman builds the, her house, but with her own hands the foolish one tears hers down in the name of Yeshua. Whoever fears Yahweh walks uprightly, but those who despise him are devious in their ways in the name of Yeshua. A fool's mouth lashes out with pride, but uh, my lips of the wise protect me in the name of Yeshua. Where there are no oxen, the manger is empty. But uh, from the strength of an, of an ox come abundant harvests, in the name of Yeshua. I, the honest witness, do not deceive, but a false witness pours out lies, in the name of Yeshua. The mocker seeks wisdom and finds none. But knowledge comes easily to the discerning in the name of Yeshua. I stay away from a fool, for I will not find knowledge in their lips in the name of Yeshua. My wisdom of the prudent is to give thought to my ways, but the folly of the fools is deception in the name of Yeshua. Fools mock at making amends for sin, but uh, good will is found among the upright in the name of Yeshua. Each heart knows its own bitterness, and no one else can share its joy in the name of Yeshua. The house of the wicked will be destroyed, but my tent of the righteous will flourish in the name of Yeshua. There is a way that appears to be right, but in the end it leads to death. I will be careful not to trust my own understanding in the name of Yeshua. Even in, in laughter the heart, the heart may ache, and rejoicing may end in grief. I will seek Yahweh's guidance in all things in the name of Yeshua. The faithless will be fully repaid for their ways, but I, the good man, will be rewarded for mine in the name of Yeshua. The simple believe anything, but I, the prudent, give thought to my steps in the name of Yeshua. I, the wise, fear Yahweh and shun evil, but a fool is hot-headed and yet feels secure in the name of Yeshua. A quick-tempered person does foolish things, and the one who devises evil schemes is hated in the name of Yeshua. This simple Inherit folly, but I, the prudent, am crowned with knowledge 
in the name of Yeshua. Evil doers will ultimately bow down in the presence of the good and the wicked at the gates of the righteous in the name of Yeshua. The poor are shunned heaven by their neighbors, but I, the rich, have many friends in the name of Yeshua. It is sin to despise one, one's neighbor, but blessed is the one who is kind to the needy in the name of Yeshua. Those who pl plot evil go astray, but I who plan what is good show love and faithfulness in the name of Yeshua. All hard work brings, all hard work brings a profit, but mere talk only lead to poverty in the name of Yeshua. My wealth of the wise is my crown, but the folly of fools yields poverty in the name of Yeshua. I the truthful witness, I the truth the truthful witness save lives, but the false witness is is deceitful in the name of Yeshua. I fear Yahweh and have a secure fortress for my children it will be a refuge in the name of Yeshua. My fear of Yahweh is a fountain of life turning me from the snares of death in the name of Yeshua. A large population is a king's glory but without subjects a prince is ruined in the name of Yeshua. Because I am patient, I have great understanding. But one who is quick tempers, who is quick tempered, displays folly in the name of Yeshua. My heart at peace gives life to the body. But envy rots the bones in the name of Yeshua. Whoever oppresses the poor shows contempt for their maker. But I am kind to the needy and honor Yahweh in the name of Yeshua. When calamity comes, the wicked are brought down. But even in death, I the righteous seek refuge in Yahweh in the name of Yeshua. Wisdom reposes in my heart, in my heart of the discerning. But in the heart of fools she is not known in the name of Yeshua. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin condemns any, any people in the name of Yeshua. A king delights in a wise ser ser servant. But a shameful servant, a shameful servant arouses his fury. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Thank you, Father Yahweh, that you heard our prayers. Thank you, Lord, for your answers to our prayers. Father, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you all the praise. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah.